Hi, this is Karanda with Carvel Digital, and in this video I want to show you how to access your staging site with Flywheel Hosting. So here I am logged into my Flywheel account, and I have a new site that I've just set up. So I'm going to access the admin dashboard for that site. And then go into the advanced tab. And down here, I'm going to turn on this enable staging button. And just confirm. So once your staging site is ready, you will be able to do things like copy your live site to the staging site to make sure that your staging site is an exact copy of your live site. And then if you have changes that you want to do, but you're worried about doing that on your production site, you can make all your changes on the staging site, and then you can actually click a button to copy those changes over to the live site. Once your staging site is ready, you'll see a new staging tab here. And if you click on that, you have the following options. You can move your staging changes to the live site. Uh, as I mentioned, if you have changes that you made uh, on staging, then you can copy them over to live with this button. If you want to make sure that your staging copy is up to date in terms of being uh, an accurate representation of your live site, you can hit this button right here to reset your staging environment. It will make a new staging copy of your site and any changes that you've made on the staging site up to that point will be lost. To access your staging site, you can find the domain URL of your staging site in this domain tab here and the structure will be staging.yoursitename flywheelsites.com. Your staging site is also password protected, so if you scroll down, you will find the password for your site. And the username will always be flywheel. So if we click on this site and open it in a new tab, to even view the site, you'll need to enter that username and password that was created. So the username will always be flywheel. And paste in the password. You can also change the password that they give you if you want to change it to something else. Once you've entered that username and password, it will show you the staging site, which you can tell by the URL. Um, and then you can, it's an exact copy of your production site. So you can log into it, you can make changes, you can do whatever you want. And then when you're ready, you can copy those changes to production. Once you've made your changes on the staging site and you're ready to copy them to the live site, you can click this button and then you can choose whether you want to copy the database, which if you've made any kinds of changes uh, that are stored in the database, which is most changes, then you'll need to copy that over in order to see your changes. You confirm that you want to move your staging changes to your live site and you can make a backup of the current production site before it copies the changes. So to complete that step, you would just enter your password and click move changes to live site. So that's how you access staging. This is a really great feature because uh, it gives you peace of mind when you're trying out new things and you want to add things to your site and you don't have to worry about breaking your live site. Hope this has been helpful and I'll see you next time.